this is Carla and welcome back to the studio and thank you for joining me for another episode of Throwback Thursday. So for this Thursday, I am featuring the Just My Type stamp set. Now, this stamp set was in our last annual catalog that ended on April 30th, so just, what, two days ago. Um, I have to really think about my words because I'm actually recording this on April 30th, so technically the catalog that this was in hasn't quite yet uh, retired yet. In a couple more hours it officially has, but this stamp set had already um, been sold out before the catalog ended. So this, I figured, since this is actually the first time I'm putting ink to it, I thought, well, I will use this as my first Throwback Thursday uh, since the new catalog comes out. So speaking of the new catalog, this is the new catalog right here. So Technically, I could open this and you could see what's in it, but I'm not really going to go over, you know, what's in it in this video. Um, I probably do that, you know, just really quickly when I do my um, Friday night kind of live that I'll be recording for this upcoming Friday, May 3rd. So this is our new catalog. It starts on May 1st of 2024 and it'll go through April 30th of 2025. Now, if you are not a demonstrator, if you are not working with another demonstrator and you would like a copy, a copy of this catalog in the description of the video, there is my email address. Please send me an email with your full name and your mailing address and I will get one of these uh, mailed out to you. Okay. So let me put that aside because that's all we're going to talk about with that catalog right now. And this clearly was not a stamp set that carried over. It's a really cool, um, versatile stamp set. So I was really surprised that it didn't. Now for my projects on these cards, I'm also going to bring in another retired item. So this paper is the flowers and more 12 by 12 um host designer series paper this was a host offering in i believe this was our not sure if this was our annual catalog host offering or if this was um a mini catalog but i'm thinking this was an at, um an annual catalog from last year but either way, it was host paper that you can you can earn for free when you reached one hundred and fifty dollars or more in your order. So with this paper, there are lots of colors in it. There's Blackberry Bliss, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Orchid Oasis, Pale Papaya, Parakeet Party, Polished Pink, Shaded Spruce, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet and Tahitian Tide. A lot of the colors in here have now retired. So as you can see, there's lots of really bright, fun prints that's in this paper. So I am using some of this paper in both of the cards that I make for you tonight or today, actually. So let me move this out of the way and Let's go ahead and get started on our first card. So for my first card, I have a piece of fresh freesia. This measures eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I have a piece of starry sky cardstock. This measures four and a half by two and a half. I have a piece of basic white that measures four by two. And then I have three strips of that DSP that measures three and three quarters by three quarters. Now I do want to line these up so that way I do, um, when I place them down, I do want them to be in line with each other. Okay, so that's our three pieces. And then I have another piece of basic white. This is just a scrap that I'll be doing my stamping on. 
So I'm going to set this aside for a moment and I'm going to fold and burnish my card base. And I'll set that aside. And then I'm going to bring in, so I have this piece of cardstock here, and I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet underneath it so I can see, you know, so I can see where the edge of the cardstock is. So there is this stamp that is in the stamp set that says hello. This is one whole stamp. Now, with the with these letters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be after I stamp them, I'm going to individually punch them out with the three quarter inch circle punch. And so let me let me let me get started on stamping. OK, so let me bring in the colors that I'll be using. So the colors for this are Sweet Sorbet, Crushed Curry, Shaded Spruce, Tahitian Tide, and Starry Sky. So three of these colors with Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, and Starry Sky are the in colors that actually just retired um, with our annual catalog. And we have now come out with five new colors. So what I'm going to do is with each one of these colors, I'm going to ink up this stamp that says hello. And I'm going to stamp across this piece of cardstock. Now, what I'm doing is I'm stamping this five times in each of the colors. And then I'm going to come in with my punch and I'm going to punch each of the letters out in the different colors. Now, you could do this also by using your stamp and write marker. And you can ink each one up individually with the marker, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to stamp these all in their individual color. And bring in my ink pad. My crushed curry looks a little messed up here, so I think I'm going to need a new one now. As I'm stamping these, I know that the out of this crushed curry, the, the letter that I'm going to use is the E. So I'm really going to focus on making sure that that E is inked up really well. And then I'm just going to come right below it and I'm going to stamp it again. The ink pads, they, they don't last forever. And if you look at my crushed curry, it looks, it looks a little uh, yucky. Now, what you see on there, that is not mold. What it is with some of the colors, the chemical composition of them cause it, causes it to crystallize. Now you can do a couple of things. You can, take something and lightly scrape it off or you can rinse out completely rinse out your ink pad let the foam pad completely dry and then you can come in with your re-inker and you can re-ink it but I think I believe I've already done that with this and I have had this ink pad for a while so I may just go ahead and replace it okay so I have Clean this right. I want to make sure I cleaned it. I don't want to put it in other ink. So I'm going to dry it off and then I'm going to bring in my shaded spruce and I'm going to stamp that. And this time I'm focusing on that center L. I'll stamp that. Move that up. And clean this. And I'm using my chamois that we have in our current annual catalog. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my Tahitian Tide. 
And this time I'm focusing on that other L. this again and I'll dry it and then bring in my starry sky and this time I'm focusing on that O at the end. Okay. We're done with that. Let me clean this really quick. Okay, and I'll put that aside. Now, let me bring in my scratch paper because what I'm going to do next on this piece right here, I am going to stamp the grouping of flowers and I'm going to do that in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now, what I'm doing with this. I'm going to have the base of these leaves here on the base of the card. So that way I have room up above to place the, those letters. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to come right here and stamp that. And then I'm going to stamp all the way across. Black is very, very inky. Okay, so now I'll set that aside. Let me clean this really quick. Okay, and put that aside and we'll close this up. So that's all the stamping that we're going to do. So now um, this is the part where I'm going to speed it up. So let me explain what I'm going to do. So for these letters, I am going to cut them in strips. So then that way I can easily get to the letters using my three quarter inch circle punch. Then on this piece here, I have brought in my Stampin' Blend markers. Now these are the light colors based off of the same colors I use to stamp the letters. So I have the light sweet sorbet, the light starry sky, the light Tahitian tide, the light shaded spruce. And since there's not a crushed curry color, I am using the light daffodil delight. Okay, so with that being said, I will be right back. Okay, so let me bring in my pieces. So I'm going to start off with adhering this piece here onto my starry sky. And I'm bringing in my silicone craft sheet again for my, and I use my seal. So I'm going to adhere this right in the center, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take these pieces right here. So I want to again make sure that I have these lined up and that's not where it goes. Um, 
trying to line these all up so they get placed in the right spot. Okay, so that's the way they go. I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of each of these. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my card base and then I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to place them around about the middle or so. So I'm going to take these two pieces that are on the outer edges and I'm going to place those down first. So I'm trying to make sure I got these kind of lined up so that way it's about the same amount of distance. And just make sure that they're straight. And then we got this piece right here. Okay, so then we'll just press those down. And then I'm going to bring this piece in. Put a piece of on the back of this. And then I'll place this right over the center of it, like so. And then I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. And I'm going to place one on the back of each of these letters. All right, and then, so now I'm going to start adding my hello. So I'm going to start off with the start, the beginning and the end letter. So I'm going to put my H right over here. I want to bring it down just a little bit. Right there, and then I'm going to bring in my O, and I'm going to add that one over on this end, like so, and then my L. So I'm doing the two outer ones first, and then I'm going to do my center one. So, and then I'll fill it in with my other E, with my E and my other L. Just a little bit. Right there. So then we'll press that all down. Now I'm going to bring in my Wink of Stella and I'm going to add some just to the flowers. So the colors of these flowers, they're basically mimicking the colors that are in the flowers and the leaves that are in the DSP. The only difference is I'm not using the dark shade of that blend. I'm using the lighter. And as far as like crushed curry goes, we don't have Stampin' Blends in that color. Um, we have it in Daffodil Delight, and that's the closest color that we got. I could say that I can match up with the Crushed Curry. Okay. 
So I got one more bit of embellishment that I'm going to add to this and I'm going to use my iridescent pearls basic jewels. Now these um, embellishments, these pearls did carry over into our new annual catalog so you'll still be able to, to get these. So I'm going to take a few of these and I'm going to add a few. So like one larger one and then I'm going to add a smaller one like right up here and then one more like right up here. Okay so that is our first card. On to our second. Okay, so for my second card, we're going to kind of do a little bit of an eclectic type looking card. And again, I'm using the DS that flowers and more DSP that I used in the first card. I'm just using some different patterns. So I'm going to start off with a piece of basic white thick. This measures eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I have one of the patterns of that flowers and more DSP. This measures five by two and a half. I have another piece. This one measures three and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then another pattern that measures three and a quarter by two and a half. And then I just have a, a scrap piece of basic white that I'll be stamping on and then uh, fussy cutting those pieces out as well. So I'm going to start off with folding and burnishing my card base. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet and I'm going to bring in my adhesive. And I'm going to add some to the back of this. And I'm going to add this right here. I'm going to kind of have it even from the top and bottom. And then I'm going to take this smaller piece and I'm going to add adhesive to the back of this. And I'm going to add this one about here, like so, and then this piece, it's the same pattern as that other paper I used on the other card. The only difference is that this background, instead of being fresh freesia, it's starry sky. Okay, and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to add this one right here. I'm going to make sure that I have it kind of straight. Okay, so I'm going to press all that down. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. And now on this piece, I'm going to do my stamping. So I'm going to stamp the typewriter. And then there's two different paper patterns that you can use. One that's just straight like this or one that's got the one end curled over that you can have. You can stamp right here and it looks like the paper's coming out of the typewriter. So I have that. And then inside the paper here, I'm going to stamp three times with this little tiny high stamp. And then I have the greenery and a little pot. And the colors I'm going to use to stamp are going to be Blackberry Bliss, Lemon Lime Twist, and Copper Clay. So I'm going to start off with stamping my typewriter and the paper and that little high all in Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to stamp that right down here and then the paper I'm going to ink this up and then I'm going to bring this down a little bit so I can actually line 
my paper up to the top of that typewriter. And of course there was some ink on the edge of that, but that's okay because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cutting this. And then I'm gonna take my little high and I'm just gonna randomly stamp these three times like so. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean these stamps since I use Blackberry Bliss. It is one of those colors, as you can see, it will stain the photopolymer. I mean, it's not gonna ruin the stamp. It's just, it's gonna, some colors do stain the photopolymer. And this is one of those colors. Usually your bright pinks and reds and purples will do that. Okay. So then I'm going to bring in, let's see, what am I doing next? I'm going to do my little clay pot. Ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that right over here. And then I'm going to bring in my lemon lime twist. Ink this up, and then I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to line this up right over the top of the pot. Like so, so we're done with the stamping. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to be cutting these out, and again, there's no set of dies or anything to cut these out so I'm gonna have to fussy cut them so this part I'm gonna speed up so I will be right back. Okay, so let's put that together. So the, when you see this, that's going to be sped up and it's going to look good. But I'll tell you what, that didn't feel good cutting, especially this out. It was actually starting to hurt my finger a bit. So now let me bring in my dimensionals. And I'm going to add, let's see. Put one down here and then one more up right here. And then on the back of my typewriter, a few right there. Okay, then I'm going to bring in my card base and I'm going to add this out here. I'm going to kind of try and make it straight, kind of, sort of. Stick that there and then take our plant. And we will add that right over next to it like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in my Wink Estella. 
And I'm going to add some to the leaves of this plant. And then I'm going to add some to this clay pot. Now it is pulling some of that copper clay. And it's kind of filling in and giving that a little bit of color. So I'm just going to brush my Wink Estella brush to get some of that ink off. So it kind of just blended it a little bit. Okay, so we got one more, one more bit of embellishment to put on here. I'm going to bring in my iridescent pearls. I'm going to take this larger one and I'm going to add that right up here on the typewriter and then bring in two smaller ones. I'll put one down here and then another one right up here. Okay, so that is our second card. Let me bring in the first card that we did. So kind of like an eclectic, colorful um, cards using the Just Type stamp set. Um, so if you had liked these cards, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me in not only growing my channel, but it also helps me in growing my Stampin' Up! business. And again, if, if you are not working with a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you're not a, demo, a, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like one of these new catalog sets now, live as you are watching this video um, in the description is my email address please send me an email with your full name and complete mailing address and i will send one of these out to you and also that's if you are living in the u.s okay so i thank you again for joining me for this episode of throwback thursday and so I will see you next week. So until then, everyone, have a blessed one. Bye-bye.